But for farmers in Acadiana, these cold temperatures can cause major challenges. Aaron Griffin spent the day in Church Point talking with farmers to find how they are keeping their livestock warm. Farmers keeping their livestock warm and safe during freezing temperatures is a top priority. Acadiana farmers say they are working overtime to keep their livestock warm in one way is having heat lamps around the animals. They are also making sure the livestock stays hydrated. What we've done this morning is we've put out extra hay. We've put out extra feed for them. We're making sure that we've got water in the water troughs and got to be able to put some more as the time goes on because we'll be faced with something different than we've ever had. We're going to have five days of below freezing weather, what they're predicting, and it might be longer. So we, the challenge we're going to have is to keep these cattle watered and the, uh, any animals, the horses, the goats, any, any animal that you have. I spoke to our meteorologist, Rob Perillo, who says we are expecting sub-freezing temperatures and single-digit wind chills, which have a direct impact on livestock and pets. For local farmers, they hope not to lose any livestock. Well, one animal, it would be bad enough, but if we lose more than that, it'll be bad. And then, you know, you got some of them in there. They're all the same. We don't want to lose any of them. We try to keep them all alive, but it happens. And when it happens, we just got to move forward. According to our meteorologist, Rob Perillo, we can expect to continue to see the freezing temperatures at night for the next four days. Taking the wet muck out the stalls and we're putting new shavings in there and we're making sure the goats have a nice warm place to get and have a heat lamp and aren't in the cold and they have water before we shut it off. Find out tonight at 10 how their family farms are working together to keep their livestock even safer. In studio, Aaron Griffin, KTC TV3.